Hey guys, it's Socks, and welcome to day 8 of the 13 Deadly Knights of Cass challenge by Nika Tyler here on YouTube. All of their socials will be linked below as well as their series. Today's prompt is um, Buff Man, whose uh, PP I had to censor here. No, I'm kidding. It's Devoted Guardian. Yeah, ig ig ignore, ignore that. I had to put some scars in and I forgot I didn't have my censor mod installed, so I got jump scared by Peen. But <laughs> today's prompt. So I wanted to make kind of this mystical figure again going into like arg internet horror stuff kind of like i don't know if you guys are familiar with like scps and whatever it's like i'm not like 100 percent like they're cool it's cool in concept i like more the really like existential entry is like the one they enter an alternate dimension but like every single living like thing ceases to exist every single living particle that is an inanimate object um one of my favorites is also this basically this big like guardian keeper of this place and it's just this big big like roman kind of statue that just stands there and guards something guards some sort of gate so i kind of wanted to go into glimmerbrook have this quote-unquote guardian that protected the gate to the magic world if you know what I mean, like if someone strays off path in Glimmerbrook, 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 this sim, this handsome, handsome sim will perhaps guide them the other direction or, you know, exterminate. I don't know. No, I feel like he's more of like a gentle guardian. I feel like maybe in his earlier days, he's a bit of a warrior. He's pretty scarred up, as you can see. I went, went in with the scars a little bit. I also dressed him in skimpy clothes because I can. I personally think to combat women being sexualized in scenarios where it's like you know they're on a battlefield and they're like wearing armor that like shows all their vulnerable spots i think to combat that you should do the same uh for the men <laughs> so that's where i went with this because like yeah if you get into battle with this gear you're getting sliced up all of your vital organs are exposed so yeah that's that's my that's my take on this that's why why i did this i like to do that i like to spread that I like to spread that energy <laughs> over to the men, <laughs> too. So yeah, just kind of like the stone, like, impenetrable guardian. I kind of went a little bit based off of, like, um, and, and kind of, like, very, very loosely, very, very loosely, like, the zombie mountain later on in the Game of Thrones show. A little more, like, to the book, kind of. And again, it's just very loosely, as well as, like, um the figure and representation of gilgamesh in the final fantasy series sometimes maybe more 15 i don't know i haven't played every single one so i can't like speak on all of the iterations of gilgamesh but you, you kind of get my, you kind of get my drift it's a little bit more abstract he's just chilling protecting protecting his portal protecting it well some cool wings made him absolutely ripped because of of course y you got to um but yeah that's really all i had to say about this creatism today we're over the halfway point for this challenge we're on day eight that we're past the halfway point that's oh my god that's crazy the countdown to halloween it's getting closer what day is this going up on the sixth will i be seeing the five nights of freddy's movie the day this goes up i think so it says that it releases on the 27th, but for some reason we got our uh, pre-sale tickets for the 26th. I guess we're going to see it on release. I don't know. I, it's not like that I'm that interested in like the Five Nights at Freddy's. So it's just like a cultural thing I'd, I'd like to be a part of. And I really like to go see meme movies on opening night. That's like my favorite thing to do. My best friend when the Emoji movie came out, we were there opening night in the theater watching that i think what was another one my dad and i went to go see opening night it was like geostorm or something it's awful it's so bad we were the only ones in the theater on opening night for this movie and we were just laughing we were having a great time i'm really excited for that i have a feeling it's gonna be very similar i'm very excited i love josh hutcherson as well as matthew lilliard i think it's gonna be it's gonna be a lot of fun yeah i'm gonna end this voice over here of course shout out to my patrons jacqueline dream hanawo esther and sasha if you'd like to support me my channel the link to my patron is down below however that is never necessity of course nika's channel as well as their series will be linked down below for you to check out i heavily recommend it and yeah i will see you all in the next video of whatever i make